Subscribe now. EU debates. From the outset, I would like to express the full commitment of member states to the principle of protection of privacy as enshrined in the Charter and in our General Data Protection Regulation, which set very high standards for the protection of individual freedoms. The European institutions and the member states have a joint responsibility and a duty to ensure the fulfilment of these standards and to investigate adequately and condemn any form of legal surveillance. A journalist needs to feel safe to contact a source. Political opponents must be able to express their views. A human rights activist must feel able to defend these causes far from political pressure or interference. Our legislation is also very strict and clear about the situations where the right to privacy may be limited, namely for law enforcement purposes. European rules on the protection of human rights regulate strictly these exceptions and imply the highest level of safeguards to avoid any abuse. Under this legal framework, it is for each member state to carry out the necessary investigations on allegations of illegal surveillance measures and to put in place the adequate tools to prevent and combat vulnerabilities. One of our major vulnerabilities today is that of our cybersecurity. Cybersecurity not only aims at protecting economic activity or critical infrastructure, it is also about protecting electronic devices such as smartphones where we keep so much of our private and professional data. The European Union is also stepping up its efforts in the area of security. This is a priority of the Czech Presidency. In this connection, I would like to highlight the agreement between this Parliament and the Council to boost precisely our cybersecurity and resilience through the so-called NIS2 Directive. The Czech Presidency is committed to working on other cybersecurity legislative measures, in particular the regulation on cybersecurity for EU institutions, bodies and agencies, and we are expecting tomorrow a proposal from the Commission on cyber resilience. Thank you for your attention. Thank you, Herr Minister.